When you throw a slider, okay, you want to get same thing, fastball, fastball, and you want to get here. Most guys have a tendency to get here before too soon. You want to get here and you want to cushion the elbow and you want to be able to create spin. The problem with a slider when you get tired or when things don't go well, you start banging that elbow straight arm instead of elbow in this position. It's not natural. It does create a lot of torque. The reason it's so good and the hitters don't hit it is because you're creating such tight spin at such velocity that the ball is spinning and has the velocity that looks like a fastball and it disappears and turns away from a right-handed hitter. So that's why when the curveball is a lost art. The curveball is not thrown as hard. It spins just as much, but the velocity at which you throw a curveball is more of a change of speed. So what's better on your arm? Curveball is better on your arm. Really? Yeah. Because the curveball, you, you, you can't throw a curveball like this, right? You have to throw a curveball, and it has an easier motion, and it, and it creates spin. Real quick, as a disclaimer, you wouldn't recommend kids throwing a slider? Never, ever. I never threw a slider until I got to the big leagues. I didn't even know how to throw a slider from the standpoint of there was no emphasis of it back then. Parents are so consumed with their kids dominating so early, you can teach. You cannot teach 95, 96 miles an hour. You can't. Nope. Nobody's ever been able to do it. So if you've got the velocity, protect that arm and keep them away from throwing the slider, which no young kid's going to hit Fastball, and no big leaguer's going to hit. Change up curveball. Correct. You can get by. Should Syndergaard take a little off his slider? I, Syndergaard should take a little off of everything if he can and learn how to pitch in speeds. What? But that is so difficult. He's not been given the proper time to develop.